With the German Navy completely destroyed, the British once again became the greatest sea power in the world. They had more ships than all the other navies put together, and their merchant fleet supplying the empire was vast. But as usual, the British seemed incapable of learning from their mistakes, and instead of building on their successes, became complacent, convinced that nothing would ever threaten them again. The naval staff dismissed their near defeat by the U-boats and still obstinately stuck to its policy of using the submarine as part of the fleet. This led to the development of some very strange vessels. Towards the end of the Great War, the K-class of submarine were developed. These were the brainchild of Admiral Jellicoe and were almost twice the length of the average submarine. The submarines were powered by steam turbine engines which gave them a top speed of 25 knots on the surface. However, they were extremely slow to dive because their two funnels had to be retracted and because of their length, the bow could be at crush depth while the stern was still near the surface. They were a very unhappy class of submarine, prone to all sorts of accidents, so in 1926 they were all scrapped. However, in 1918, three of their hulls had been used to create the most extraordinary submarines of all, the M-Class. The submarine M1 was armed with a 12-inch gun which weighed 60 tonnes and had been taken from a redundant battleship. She was supposed to surface, lob a few shells at the enemy and then disappear. It was a stupid idea and it never worked because the submarine's fire control systems could not operate the gun at maximum range. In 1925 the M1 was in collision with a Swedish cargo ship and sank 15 miles off start point with the loss of all her 69 officers and men. Her sister ship, the M2, was converted even more amazingly to a small aircraft carrier. A hangar with a waterproof door replaced the gun in front of the conning tower and a small seaplane with folding wings called a pito was assigned to her. The experiment proved to be a disastrous mistake. On the 26th of June 1932, the M2 was exercising in West Bay just off the Dorset coast when she was seen to dive stern first by the captain of a passing freighter. She never resurfaced and it took the Navy eight days to find her lying on the bottom in 106 feet of water. Her hangar was open and so was the hatch leading to the control room. It would seem that the hangar door was open before she had properly surfaced from a previous dive and attained full buoyancy. Whatever the reason, her 60 officers and men all perished and the wreck of the M2 remains their lasting memorial.